Well, hi guys, it's me, your sister Nate on me. Yes. Um, today I just wanted to really come by with a message that the Lord had put on my heart, and it really touched my life because it made me see things from another perspective. Um, and the message that He gave me specifically was, "If I'm not jealous, then who is she?" Maybe I need to say that again. If I'm not jealous, then who is she? Is is this female you may have some friends you may have some women in your life that you look up to you may have some women in your life that um just in your 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 circle within your head you know that god probably really wants you to be separated from certain women in your life and if you have these women in your life and you look at them and you ask yourself a question like what purpose do they serve in my life what purpose do i have in their life i mean you really should get to this place of, if I'm not jealous, then who is she? I'm not talking about no jealousy that where you competing against another female trying to be better than another female or putting another female down just so you can be lifted up or puffed up, you know, with pride and stuff. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a jealousy that will spark something in your sister. Like when I see, I'm going to give you an example just so you can be clear where I'm coming from because I'm a part of this. And I, I want sisters in my life that I want to be jealous to where it's like if I look at you, I want to question myself, what am I doing with my life am I actually doing the will of God am I actually walking in purpose am I on my assignment you know I just need to ask myself that I want some sisters in my life you know this is particularly not for me but this may be for you so when you looking at another sister's marriage that's in Christ and you see that her husband they they look so good on the outside yes we know that every relationship has its up and it has its down that's what the vows is for for better or for worse for richer or for poor so you know you're gonna go marriage is not meant to be perfect but if I look at you and I see that man there's something divinely good about that relationship it I want a relationship that God can bring me to where I'm I, I'm so jealous and I'm just like Lord why is it that she has a marriage that looks so designed and it's divine I want to look at that marriage and just be like oh man Lord why why I don't have that type of marriage not to the point of you just questioning questioning like Lord what's going on why I don't have no man no Lord what does it take in order for me to have a man that you have for me I don't want her husband now we're not talking about nothing like that baby I don't want her husband okay we're not talking about no adulterous mindset. That's outside of the kingdom. That's not within the kingdom. The mindset that I'm talking about, that I'm jealous, I'm smart, that looking at your marriage like, man, y'all both on fire for the Lord. Y'all both sold out to Christ and stuff. That's the type of marriage that I want. So where, baby, I'm not going to settle for the imitation of the real thing because I, I know that God has the real thing in store for me, his daughter. So, of course, he want me to have his best. That's how I want to look at it. I want sisters in my life that's gonna spark jealousy to be like man i gotta get on point i have to get in, in a in a line to where god can use me where god can speak through me and use me for his kingdom I want women in my life that's going to inspire me to where they working so hard to where not to where they they losing their beauty to where you can see it on the outside but working so hard to where they have a strength that a, a single woman that can only carry that you know I want that same vibe I want that same motivation same power to know that I am a woman full of strength that I can move I can do things that um yes I don't have my husband right now to take on that role but I know I have enough strength to be able to do it myself I want that type of woman in my life to where I look at you and I see that man through the things that you go through I still see beauty I still see class I still see a dynamic woman who is fight I don't have time to be jealous we're not talking about a jealousy to where I'm just like oh uh, oh you're better than me oh I'm looking down on myself in order because I'm looking so high at you no baby that's not what we're talking about we're talking about a relationship with the Lord that is so powerful that we start examining our relationships that we have with other sisters. I'm not talking about a race thing, baby. This ain't got nothing to do with shade, okay? This has everything to do with being a woman 
on fire for God, a woman in Christ, a woman who is it. And if you a woman that is not in Christ, baby, let me tell you something. There is a good life over there. So we as women of God should spark jealousy so mightily in you to where it's like, man, what am I doing with my life? Maybe I need to join his team so I can become one of these great women. I can do the will of the Lord. I can win souls. Yes, I may have went through the things that I went through. I may have struggled, baby. I might have been through the, the mud, the, the storm and the rain. I might have been so filthy on the outside on what the things that I've been through in my past life. But that won't determine who I am in my present or in my future because I surrendered my life to Christ and I want to give. And so I want to surround myself with women like this. This is the women that I want to spark jealousy within me, Lord. And, and I'm telling you, every last woman in Christ should have a jealousy so illuminated that we call to be the light of the world. So why is our light so dim? Why is the world getting more action, getting more uh, spotlight than the women of God? They should have such a fear, a fear of this life. Not a fear to where it wants to keep them away from it. To where it's like, I don't want no part of it. No, a fear is like, man, the power and the, the strength that is in a woman who, who serves the Lord. A woman who diligently prays and seeks the Lord with her whole heart. Who don't mind getting raw. Who don't mind taking off the makeup and taking off the hair. Baby, take off your wig too. It's fine. The women who don't mind fighting. Don't let this outer shell determine who I am on the inside and what I am capable of. I'm, a, I'm capable of great things because God has chosen me. I didn't choose myself. If I would have looked at myself, sister, oh, if I would have looked at myself, I would have felt like, why do I need to say anything? I'm not, I'm not worthy to say anything. I'm not worthy to change no life, nobody's life because look where I've been. Look at the decisions that I made. But God has another path. He has another path for each and every last one of us, women of God, that we are mighty. We are mighty in him, for he said we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people who may proclaim the praises of him who brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are women, Titus 2 and 3, women of example. The older women be an example for the younger women. What are we doing? We shouldn't be carrying ourselves the same way the young women are. Yes, I'm still young, baby. You're not going to call me. Oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to be 40 in a few years, okay? But I'm still young. And I don't care if I reach my 40s. I'm still going to be young. I don't care if I reach my 50s. I'm going to still be young. But I'm going to be old in wisdom. You understand that? There's a difference. There's a difference. I can't do the things that the young Naomi used to do. I have to do what the older, wiser Naomi does. Because I'm accountable. Let's start taking accountability. This is the jealousy that we as women of God should spark in other women. We shouldn't be looking at the world and what they do. The world of its own. But what happened to the women of God loving its own too? And being so dynamic, being so bold for Christ that we spark jealousy in the ones that didn't even want him. Shoot, the people of Israel was a perfect example. God had to spark a jealousy so deep-rooted in them. So he had to go to a people that wasn't his own just so he can win some of his own people. A prophet is without honor in his own country. Why should we be any less? We are women of God. We should be on fire for God. We should not allow our circumstances or anything that we're going through. To keep us from what we are capable of. And I know I'm just probably talking a long time. You probably like don't have time. But I just wanted to come and share with this. That God loves you. He has made you full of strength. Full of, full of boldness and confidence. Integrity. Morality. Class. He has sparked something in you. Who you are now looks so different than who you once were. 
yeah, back then I probably didn't want to have all this showing too much because I just never, I never, I never, uh-uh. That's the examples that God placed in my life. So I never saw them dressing without modesty. That's to be truthful. Yeah, I, I was a little risky. Tried to try to, to, you know, see. But it wasn't me. I didn't feel right. I felt convicted. So over though, even though I was class and carrying myself like a lady, you know, I had my, my thought time too. Well, that's what the world call it, a thought. I guess that's what they call it. But anyway, I had my time too. And it taught me one lesson. I'll never ever do it again. I'll never put myself in that situation to be totally disrespected. Put myself out there in such a way to why I show that I or reflect that I don't respect myself first. What is was it the greatest mistake of my life? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. But it was my past. And I did a lot of stupid things. But you know what I'm living in? I'm living in Christ. Where I can do a lot more things better than I used to do. Because my mind is different. My heart is different. My intent is different. And when the intent is different, you are different. Your truth would not be to hurt people. Yes, sin condemns you. I don't. Sin condemns you. I don't. If the Bible is speaking against your lifestyle, is speaking against the things that you got going on, change it. That's simple. Why are we making a big fuss? Why are we making a big deal about it? Just change it. Now, if you intentionally want to live the way that you live it, keep on. But you'll find out on the other side that you should have chose what was given to you. The option that was given to you. So I hope that you mighty woman of God. I pray that you spark the greatest jealousy in other women. To want to be their best selves. Who no longer want to settle for mediocre. Who no longer want to settle for things lesser than what God has established and in store for them. God has a plan, a future, a hope for you. You can go read it. Jeremiah 29, 11. He has all that set up for you. But it's the moment that you become like Esther. And you submit yourself to God. His plan and will for your life. And watch, watch. You start sparking jealousy in the women that you never thought that would look at you in a way. That could be glorious. That can be beautiful. That they look at you with such, with such class and elegance. I speak this over my sisters. The ones that whom will surround my life. And I just wanted to share that message with you guys. I know I probably haven't been looking directly into the camera the whole time. Because I'm still trying to get comfortable with talking on this. Um, my iPhone. I'm using my iPhone baby. But... I just want you to know that regardless, I'm not professional, okay? But I'm here. I'm truthful. I'm real, okay? You can pinch me. I'm reachable. I don't care how, what level that the Lord want to open doors or take me to. I'm still reachable. I'm still Naomi. I'm not trying to fake it. I ain't trying to do that. I'm not trying to be all cute and you wind up in hell. No, I ain't trying to do that. I don't care if I got to get all raw and ugly to win you to heaven. That's my goal. You're not going to die on my watch. I love you. I love you. I love you, darling. And I hope in the name of Jesus that you spark jealousy in the lives of your sisters. Whatever shade you are, whatever shade you are, I pray in the name of Jesus that you spark jealousy. So they want to become better. Those who will not sell for other than what God's best is for them.
I am passionate about this. And I will be starting a women's ministry as well, hopefully at the beginning of the summer. And, you know, if you are a woman of God, I don't care if you're just now coming into the faith or if you're being seasoned in faith, you're a veteran, whatever. It doesn't matter. I extend this women's group with you. It's not no, well, it's a gospel elite or nothing. We're not, no, 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 no. We're women building each other up making sure that we all are accountable for one another as iron sharpens iron women who lift each other up and i pray that you would share this video share it with your sister share it with a sister that you love a sister that you want to have account make your accountability partner let's say that i pray in the name of jesus that you will share it with your sister this can be an online thing. You can come and be a part of it. If you don't, you don't have to. Just pray for us on this journey. Just pray for us on this journey. Because I know you might have your own thing going on. You might have your own ones that you connected to. Or you started your own. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But we can fellowship together because we all in one body. Because aren't we going to end up in the same place if we women of God? My daughter's coming. So I know I, it, that's my cue. That it's time for me to go. But I love you. I love you. And I speak in your life. Let's be women of power. Let's be women who spark jealousy in the hearts of others. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I thank you. Please comment, share. Follow me on um, Instagram, Facebook, um, what? Pinterest. Uh, I have a website, Lady Naomi Williams. Um, Twitter. Doesn't matter. Just follow and I'll follow you back. Love you, mighty woman of God. I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, Jesus, I. Oh, Jesus, I love you. And there's nothing that man, that man can do. Because I love you. They can never take this heart that I have for you away from me. No, 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 no. Because this who I am, I am, I am, I am. This is who I am. Oh, this is who I am. I am bold for you, I am confident in you, I am accountable, obedient to your word, oh, no, oh, and there's nothing, nothing that the world can do. That the world can do no oh, oh oh there's nothing that the world can do no <laughs>